Now on takeoff, our wave tolerance comes from these the hydrofoils. Hydrofoils use the latest technology from the America's Cup to actually lift the vehicle out of the water. Now, sea gliders have retractable hydrofoils. You can see them here in the retracted position so that we can have that wave tolerance when we land on the hull. When we're in our hydrofoiling mode, these actually deploy. So these struts will lower down five feet. So we'll have five feet of wave tolerance on takeoff. We'll have five feet of wave tolerance as we're moving through the harbor. This means we're a boat when we're in the harbor. So we are not flying on our wing. We're not going 200 miles an hour. We're going between 20 and 50 miles an hour in an incredibly comfortable and maneuverable fashion. Any weather condition, we can get you through the harbor and then we'll take off when we get to the edge of the harbor. Now, how do we take off from these things? It turns out that a hydrofoil have a limited top speed of about 50 miles an hour. And that is the technical complexity. That's really the technical hard part of a sea glider. We're going about as fast as a hydrofoil can possibly go through the water. So we need to go as slow as we can possibly go on the wing. That's where this wing design comes in.